Okay, this is a demo of how to do several text effects, type on effects with specialized colors and special effects added where you don't need additional plugins. So if you don't have the bucks to buy a plugin, keep watching. Okay, so the first effect that I want to show you is just a very simple type on effect. Each letter appears one after the other with just a short delay as though it's being typed out. This one is the simplest. It's just a simple title element. We have come in here and created masks for each letter. The way you start this off is you just go in and create a rectangular mask surrounding the first letter. Set the keyframe type to hold and what that means is as the playback is happening the mask will not change until it gets to a new keyframe. So if I didn't have any other keyframes in this cycle the only thing that would show up for the life of this element is the letter S. Then I went seven frames into the future and the simplest thing to do is zoom in and then just use your arrow keys to go seven frames or six frames rather. I thought I did seven. Anyway, six frames, whatever works for you. You want a delay that looks reasonable. Five, six, probably not 10 would be a little long. Same number of frames in the future, six. And then all you do is you take the mask and expand it out to cover the next letter. Another six frames, expand another letter until you get finally to the end of the text. And then when you play back, you'll get this. So for the next piece of text, I wanted a demonstration of how to show two pieces of text as though they were independent elements. Basically, that lets you put the same string into one text event and then have it display as though it were two. So the method is very similar again. Come in here and create a mask. We start off at the first frame with nothing being displayed. Now in this case, it's a linear uh, keyframe. In this case, it's a linear keyframe because I wanted the word to appear as a unit, not letter by letter. And then we hold to give a brief delay between the two words. And then we have a linear, it could be linear, it could be hold, it doesn't really matter at this point, to give us a little bit of time between one and the other. And then we have another hold here. And what that gives you is the ability to have two words appear as though they were separate elements. But if you have a case where you need one string that you want in there, or you just don't, don't want to have as many events, this is one way to do that. Okay, the next one combines the first one with a little bit of added color. So we're adding a gradient element below and a track below, and then combining it with the text above so that we get some gradient colored text. Now, the way that you do that is you make the first one a compositing parent. You can come in and make it a compositing parent and it'll combine it with the next track. Or you can click on the bottom track and make it a compositing child. The order doesn't really matter. Then what you want to do is come in here and make this darken. And the way it'll combine these is by dropping out everything that's black or alpha. By making this a compositing parent and child, it ensures that these are treated as one unit and elements on tracks below will still show through. Now on the next one, we have some type on text again, but in this case, we have a colored letter that shows up just before the rest of the word. And the way I did that is I started off with the same kind of text element as this one, duplicated it, and then changed the color below. So this is red, and that's the only change, uh, because at this point, they both have the masks uh, that are identical. And then I offset the top one by one letter so that the red letter shows through briefly and then the white letters take over. And that's it. That's really the only thing you need to do. Now for fun, I took the same thing and I added a special effect to the red letters, which is just some noise. And then I also made the noise level animate so that the letter seems to sort of scintillate as it's typed out. And then because I didn't want to stop there, with the next one I also added some pixelation and some glow to give it a little more interest. So on the bottom track we still have noise, but now we've also got some pixelation and those are animated so it changes 
as the letters appear. Again, you want a, a little bit of variety. It doesn't take much to make these a little more interesting than they would be if you just left the defaults. And then the top track also has Starburst and Glow, and those also have some animated elements so that it brightens as we continue playing. And then the Starburst starts to brighten as well, and then rotate ever so slightly um, toward the end. And those are some methods that you can use to create type-on text if you don't have extra money for add-on packs. It'll take you a little more time, but it does save you some bucks. So if there are any other tutorials that you'd like, leave a comment, you know the drill. Leave us a like, share, that sort of thing, and we'll keep producing these. Thanks!